students, I'm going to continue with the revision of uh, the sample paper and the revision of your syllabus. We discuss the sample paper, not the revision of it. And uh, before I start, I have to give you a reminder again and again. I have told you that you have to be very, very particular about your attendance. Okay. And uh, we have to update uh, the office and the, the authorities regularly about the attendance. And uh, many of you are falling short. Many of you have very low attendance. Now tell me what you're going to do about it. Right? Otherwise, I'm going to start uh, asking for applications. You better start sending me your uh, online applications then, if you're going to take so many days off. So you know that there's a minimum percentage which is required for you to even get your roll number from CBSE. So you have to fulfill that uh, condition. So I, I don't want to see anybody here. I'll be forwarding the names and I'll let you know here. And I think so you know before I do that that you know who is not regularly attending the classes. So you're very, very short of attendance. So make sure that you are regular. Okay, right. And especially medical section, where are they? How many medical students here right now? How many medical students? Only Gitesh is there. Gitesh, put a reminder, please. Tell the students to join the class. Look at my brave students. We have an exam in a couple of days and they're still sleeping at home. Please put a reminder in the class or should I do that? Just wait a minute. Right. So let's have a look at the screen now. And uh, yes, Udit, uh, please turn on your video so I can have a look at your face. Now here, you we have discussed one passage the other day. Just have a look at this passage. That was a discursive one. This is a more of a informative, right? Statistical there. Lots of information is there and you have to interpret the information that is given. So I, I just want you to have a look at the questions here, right? So if there is choice internally, please make sure that you attempt uh, the questions accordingly, right? Fine. So make uh, sure that uh, you attempt only the required number of questions. Extra questions are not going to get you extra marks. So don't be very clever about that. Okay. Yes. So here, look at this. So finding the correct options and what is the central idea options that uh, display with reference to figure one. So you have to look at this is the figure one. It's about internship trends. So what are the correct options that you have to select? Okay. Right, and here it is cause and effect. So what is a result of that? Okay, so the statement is there. What is its effect? Right, so all these different kinds of questions. And then of course here you have, uh, you know, finding uh, which one is correct and which one is the reason for it or for the effect of it or the solution to it. Okay, right, just like you have your assertion based questions. Clear? Now let's uh, come to this one here. Yeah, we had discussed the notice writing that day. We had done notice writing. Yes. Okay. Now look at this one. Now uh, this is your writing skills. See, you will get writing skills as your format based. You should know the format properly. You will also get content based also. Right. And uh, yes. So now here, look at this. Venu is a member of Coexistence, a school club that actively promotes animal rights and care. He has to write an article. Now, just to have a look or just write down in your notebook, you have a page in front of you. What is the format of an article? Yes. For the article, what do we give? The title. Yes, please write down the format. Yes, boys. Write down the format. What is it? You give your heading and you give your byline. What is included in your byline? the name and your class and section. Okay, please remember this. Write it down somewhere. Write it down, please. Note it down. So what is the format here, which you have to remember? Your article is your heading, an appropriate one, then by name and class. Okay, right? And of course, we know that we have to make different paragraphs and how we have to discuss the content. Yeah, name and class section, right? So, okay. By is the word by. This is article. Yeah, article. You have to write your name in class. Do not write thank you and all. And in uh, some of the uh, papers that you will go through, you will find that name in class and the name is written at the end also. 
right? Both formats are acceptable. But yeah, but please uh, make sure we do it that, you know, otherwise some examiner, when you do your subjective one, this is for your objective. You need to know what all are the contents or what is there in the format. Now let's come to the questions now. So what is the article emphasizing the need for prevention of cruelty to animals and peaceful coexistence between animals and human beings? Now select the option that lists an appropriate title for Venus article. So what is an article, the need for prevention? Do we write such a lengthy article, uh, heading for the article? No. So we have to, man and animal struggle to coexist. The rehabilitation and conservation of species. Are we, what is our focus? We are talking about peaceful coexistence. So if quickly, you know, if you just want to skim through it on first look, what is it? Remodeling the future by peaceful coexistence. Here it is not mentioned between what? Is it, it's humans or it is man and uh, humans we're talking about. Smart move survival of the fittest. Which do you think is the most appropriate one? The first one? Yes. Now, which option one to four should Venu choose to elaborate on reasons for cruelty to animals? You know, what are the reasons towards cruelty, right? Now look at this one. So cruelty, yes, so they're made to work. Right, so we put them in the zoos there for an uh, exhibition, right there. So, like you have uh, even uh, like cruelty is there towards stray animals. That right, you have uh, pets at home, you don't take proper care of them, you neglect them, you're very cruel to them, right? You put them on a in a cage, uh, you tie them with a chain the whole time, you've just taken away the freedom. Isn't it? So, what what are the reasons here? So, mainly it is, I would not say it's not more of uh, towards the pet animals but yes the animals there which are around us so what is the overwork materialism poaching is one more major major reason greed yeah so we have uh, animals that are working for us and they want to earn money so whether it is the 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 beasts of burden you know carrying so much of load and uh, we're not concerned about their health and about their problems here so they keep on uh, working right so it is poaching that animals, they killed for their, the skin, the tusks, the claws, right? So here it is, so wild animals and pet animals, malicious intent and neglect. So what is the solution that government policies, NGOs and animal shelters? Look at this, increasing abuse, lack of compassion, poaching, greed, the habitat destruction, materialistic gains, harm to environment. Or it would be all. We have displaced emotions, is lack of compassion, malicious intent, neglect, poaching, habitat, destruction, prejudices, starvation, insufficient healthcare, abandonment. Which one is there the best one? I think so. Which one talks about everything? Yes, come on, tell me. Let me hear your answers. Yes, what's the option for you all? Is it option one? What about three and four? What about three and four? Yes, so which is the correct option? Can you tell me? Look at uh, your paper there. Which one is the correct option? Is it option three or four? It's talking about everything. And which is the better? Can you see the screen? Is the screen visible? Molly, can you see the screen? Yes, yeah, Shashank, can you see the screen? Akriti, is it visible? Yeah, good. Right, uh, thank God I have, uh, you know, uh, Akriti in the class, right? Otherwise, if I keep on depending on you people, you are uh, muted throughout. So which one is the best one? Which is the option is the best? Yes? Uh, so uh, don't you think this one is there? Fourth one is absolutely, yeah, because it is covering everything. So we have about... Uh, the habitat and destruction, we're talking about neglect also. It's about animals in, in the wild, animals in the zoos, and it is animals at, at home, okay? Right, now here, yes, which option would help when with the appropriate organization of relevant ideas for this? So see how much you have to read. So most of your time is going to spend on reading and understanding and selecting the correct option. Obviously, it's a multiple choice paper, right? So reading is very, very important. Read with a calm mind. Now look at here, which would help with the organization of relevant ideas? 
how do we organize the ideas in an article? How do we, first is an introduction, yes. Then we talk about the content, right? Then there's a solution. And in the content, yes, we are here. We're talking about peaceful coexistence. We can also talk about how animals are necessary for us. If we keep on killing them indiscriminately, what is going to happen to the ecosystem, right? There will be instability, right? So all this here, so we have to talk about, yes, why it is important for man to understand. So expressing concern about several cases, exploring the reasons, stating the effects, providing suggestions for peaceful or presenting a conclusive outlook. Stating the effects, presenting a concluding, we write the conclusion in the beginning only. No, so this is absolutely wrong. This one, see here, introducing the purpose of the article. Yes, we need to introduce information about policies and laws, exploring the reasons for the laws, providing suggestions and presenting, right? Yeah, so look at this one here, appeal for joining coexistence. This is not an appeal for joining that club. So according to me, yes, C is the correct option. What do you have to say? What do you say? Mohit? It's C? According to you also it is C? Or just because I am saying it? Yes, anybody at home? Yeah, what about you? What do you have to say? Mammy, don't say anything. You keep on speaking. Yes, Jatin, what is your option? Shashank? What is your option? So, of course, so rule out the possibilities. Which are the correct ones, uh, incorrect ones? You cross them out, or automatically you narrow down to the best choice. Now, which suggestions would, from those given below, would be appropriate? What are the suggestions? We're talking of peaceful coexistence, that how man needs to realize, okay? And yes, how he has to change that uh, viewpoint. So that way, we need to give animals as much importance as we have. So we have to understand that they are also inhabitants of this planet, okay? So which one here? Just come on quickly. Look, reducing human wildlife, banning habitat, creating more wildlife sanctuaries. More wildlife sanctuaries, yeah, let's put them in more uh, enclosures. Protecting the environment, penalizing poachers. Strengthening execution of animal rights laws. Increasing awareness, reducing human wildlife conflict. According to me, once again, C is the correct option. Yes. Mohit, can you come on the first bench, please? Come here. Yes. Abhishek, you also come here. Now read a sentence and uh, help him complete it. As animals find the natural habitat shrinking daily, the interactions with humans keep rising, often to the dash of the humans and with dash for the animals. Now what happens because we are destroying the habitat? Look at what's happening to the forests, right? So deforestation is there taking place. We're destroying the natural habitat as it is they're coming out to the cities. And when man comes across these animals, what does he do? What is his immediate reaction? Is it one of happiness or it's one of fear? Fear, yes. Now what is it? Often to the dash of the humans and the dash of the animals. As animals find the, the interaction with humans often to the joy of the humans. Humans love to interact with these animals which are from the wild. No, they immediately send out messages to the people that from the wildlife department, please come and take these animals away. Isn't it right? So it is to the fear and with disastrous results. Yes, disastrous results. So they might be shot, right? So it is they're even more uh, fatal for them. Now, which quote should many use to summarize the central idea? Animals are such agreeable friends. They ask no questions, they pass no criticisms. We're not talking about animals as friends. The greatness of a nation and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Yes. A tiger may pray, oh Lord, how wicked are these men who do not come and place themselves before me to be eaten? They are breaking your law. No, not at all. Clearly, animals know more than we think and think a great deal more than we know. So I, I say B is okay. Yes. Mohit, B is okay. Sorry, but 
what are we writing about we're talking about understanding the importance of animals okay quotes have animal ki view points hai we're not uh, personifying them we're not speaking from their point of view we're talking about humans point of view isn't it right so that is let us understand the greatest of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated where animals are killed indiscriminately where animals don't have proper shelters and here it is as we have discussed in the articles we need laws for enforcing them we need more strict laws right so it is that okay now read for the checklist and select the option checklist kya hai humne points bana liye and i'll just tick 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 okay all these things are there now what should be here first person address to the audience is title designation and date are dna aap to dekh rahe ho to bilkul hi wrong hai one is absolutely wrong yes now look at the second one eye catching title that is thematically related content that offers a balanced view input conclusion a byline we need all these things we need a byline absolutely look at this one expression of gratitude by byline a thoughtful quote also address of the writer conclusion including published this is also wrong here the fourth one also usme dekho last me likha designation and date do we write it do we write the name of the publishing body no we are not writing it over there so it is option 2 okay so please here as i said be very very aware of the formats format malum hai hame format mein content part bhi included hai article mein hum kya kya likhenge right i start with introduction i give both the pros and cons can i give statistics can i give quotations right all this here where does the byline come do i write designation do i write date no i don't right so the checklist is yes i put a tick 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 and all these fit in right so more number of ticks and less number of crosses right so this one is absolutely perfect second one is clear next comes okay the biggest uh, scariest part of all yes now this is your literature today you have a revision test also to be shared at 4 o'clock okay first you'll have your test of tuesday uh, sorry yeah wednesday then you'll have your test of tuesday no test that is the last test oh so i'll share it at 2 o'clock okay fine and i want maximum participation i have nothing else to do he mutters looking away go to school i say glibly which chapter is it sahib yeah sahib absolutely absolutely it is from last spring right yeah there is no school in my neighborhood when they build one i will go if i start a school will you come i ask how joking yes he says a few days later i see him running up to me is your school ready it takes longer to build a school i say embarrassed at having made a promise that was not men but promises like mine abound in every corner of this bleak world sahib's muttering and looking away suggests his is it his anger he's angry i have nothing else to do he mutters looking away is he embarrassed that he's not going to school and he is there uh, scrounging the garbage yes it is his embarrassment it's not that he's shy but he is embarrassed of the four meanings of glibly select the option that matches in meaning which is usage in the extract go to school i say glibly glibly yeah he is there uh, like of course uh, with uh, you know not being very uh, truthful okay right so what would be the appropriate one glibly was she telling the truth about the school or sending him to school so it is what what is the correct option insens and deceitful theek okay? hai yes why do you think sahib is who do you think sahib is referring to they are in the given sentence when they build one i will go who is going to build the officials the inhabitants the teachers or the journalists who is going to build the school who will build one the officials who are going to build isn't it right there is no school in my neighborhood when they build one so the officials are supposed to build now look here select the option that lists the feelings and attitudes corresponding to the following i ask half joking what is the feeling 
he says smiling broadly which one is it part arrogance part seriousness is it part amusement part irritation no part concern part hurt yeah. and part humor part earnestness right and the second part he says smiling broadly where it is if i start yes he says smiling broadly and of course he is very happy about it he is very proud about it and it is yeah so she is concerned also and uh, it is is it pride or is it hesitation yeah let me confuse you a little bit pride. it's pride yes pride ke sath ki hesitation ke sath keh rahe i'll def i will come is it okay so i i even i think c is correct part to say in the first part there select the option that less reasons why sahib's world has been called bleak bleak dull dim what absence of parental presence no his parents are there poor socio economic conditions yes his inability to address problems not mentioned over there He's addressed his problems there. He's later on uh, joined uh, what he started working at a tea stall. His lack of life skills and the denied opportunities of schooling. Is it a two and four? Lack of life skills. What life skills? Life skills? क्या होते हैं? Basic needs are not life skills. Life skills है. Life needs नहीं है. Skills क्या होते हैं? He has a lot of skills. He is much smarter than you people. He knows how to survive. So yes, two and five. Life skills is different. See, one word is going to make a lot of difference, right? So it is not his needs they mentioned. So yeah, so two and poor social economic conditions are there and denied opportunities of, right? Okay. Read the extract. Tiny vestiges of the old terror would return. Which chapter? Which chapter is this? Deep water. Yes. But now I could frown and say to that terror, trying to scare me, huh? Well, here's to you. Look. And off I'd go for another length of the pool. This was when he had learned how to swim, right, with the help of the instructor. And then he went to see that he he has chased away his fears and he's gone to swim in the lake, right, and even meet glacier and all these places he goes to. So I, I I was not sure that all the tests. So I went to Lake Wentworth in New Hampshire, dived off a dock at Riggs Island, and swam two miles across the lake to Stampact Island. I swam the crawl, breaststroke, side stroke, and backstroke. Only once did the terror return. When I was in the middle of the lake, I put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water. The old sensation returned in miniature. Yes, uh, students. Why did Douglas go to swim at Lake Wentworth? Why to showcase his skills, to honor the efforts, to build on his ability? Come on, let me hear the answers. Yes, Abhishek, to know for sure that he had overcome his fear of drowning in water. Yeah, I think D is the correct option. What about you? Why did he go there? It is quite sure. He wanted to. overcome his fear and he wanted to know that in the lake also he is able to swim fearlessly correct yes select the option that lists the correct inference what is the correct inference triggs island and stamp act island are both located in lake lake wentworth lake wentworth is a part of triggs island stamp act island is 2 miles lake wentworth is connected via docks to new hampshire look at this now here what all is mentioned what is there lake wentworth is there lake wentworth is in new hampshire right there's a dock at triggs island and 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island so lake wentworth yes then he dived off is there any relationship is it shown that lake wentworth and triggs island are nearby swam 2 miles across the lake to stamp act island which lake Wentworth, right? And where did he go? He reached Stampact Island. Let's see what are the there. Is two miles away from New Hampshire. 
this is it so stamp are both located in lake wentworth prigs island and stamp act island so it is not that it is located in lake wentworth they are nearby isn't it so which one is it yes so which one stamp act is 2 miles away from let us not get to you know like uh, yeah right what was the reason for the return of the terror prior drowning experiences yes Douglas mentions that the old sensation returned in miniature. He means that he felt the feel, feel, uh, familiar feeling of fear. Miniature means small on a small scale. How did Douglas handle the old sensation? How did he uh, handle it? He addressed it. He avoided it. He submitted or indifferent. He addressed it. Then he went on swimming even further, and he would put his uh, face down into the water to see whether that old fear had returned again or not. Okay, now look at this. Yes, the tall girl with a way down head. Which poem? Elementary school classroom in a slum. Who's the poet? Who's the poet? Tiffin Spender. Yes. So the tall girl with a way down head. The paper seeming boy with rat eyes. And please, once again here, don't believe wholeheartedly in the responses which are given in the sample question paper. The answer keep it as there. You're going through it. so because uh, many of the answers are wrong there okay right ha ah. so the tall girl with a way down head the paper seeming boy with rat's eyes the stunted unlucky air of twisted bones right the poem draws attention to the problem of dash while describing the boy as paper seeming why is the boy paper seeming thin yes so he is thin as a paper and uh, what what is the problem why is he so thin is small nutrition very nice now which option has the underlined phrase that applies the poetic device for rats eyes rat signs metaphor here isn't it yeah rat signs scared afraid he shut up like a clam like to ho hi nahi sakta as bhi nahi ho sakta because it's a metaphor these are similes right he is considered the black sheep of the family incorrect this is not the correct meaning she ran away chattering with fear okay this is that applies the poetic device used for right here it is uh, with rat size rat size is looking here and there you know with that a fear okay right so i i think so period has also come to an end and students please focus on your attendance